thing that started to make a big change in, in myself was uh, where uh, the last four years of uh, what we call the Second Intifada. And we had some kind of um, uh, bloodshed, uh, some kind of circle of mutual violence and revenge. And um, in, a certain, in a certain point you understand that there is a circle of violence and revenge and you are just part of this circle. And although I didn't fly um, uh, machines who killed, I flew rescue helicopters and I land commando forces. But of course those commando forces did not come to clean the gardens and uh, I must take responsibility of what the soldiers I brought did and not just of what they did but also about what uh, what my fellow pilots in other squadrons and my friends from uh, from my pilot course and other commanders in the army are doing uh, once you are part of a system you feel some kind of responsibility of what the system is doing what your family and because the Israeli Air Force is like a family for me it was a family not just I was growing up in in a family that was living in Air Force bases but later all my friends were fellow, were, were pilots uh, many of them were commanders and uh, and um, I think I start to have this feeling that something wrong, wrong is going on in my family and uh, one of the things that really changed it was um, the assassination policy that was used by my government and uh, you all probably know about the terrible terror attacks that we have in Israel and um, I, my, I have a personal experience uh, because I'm um, uh, volunteering for many years with the terror uh, victim organization that uh, give uh, support and aid to new immigrants to Israel that uh, suffer from uh, terror attacks. And I know those uh, victims from, from rescuing a lot of uh, people, children, citizens from, uh, from areas in Israel that uh, were attacked. Uh, but at the same time, my government started to use this assassination, targeted assassination policy, they call it. And, um, you know, I was, all of us were very much uh, supportive for with the missions that their target is to stop suicide bomber. Of course, it's very clear that we should stop a suicide bomber when he's going to commit a crime and to kill innocents. And if I would have asked to crush myself with my helicopter and my team in order to stop uh, a terrorist that is going to kill innocents of course I would have done it with a whole heart but uh, this uh, policy uh, as for example one of uh, the commander of the army said once uh, a few uh, years ago that every um, member of uh, one of the groups uh, Hamas uh, is um, uh, is a target, and of course this uh, organization uh, it's a terrible organization, uh, and they commit crimes and uh, they have terrorists. But there are so many other people, like spokesperson, like um, a kindergarten teacher, and uh, they did not do something that they deserve to die. And who decide who will die and who will live? It's not a, it's not a, a court who make these decisions. It's few commanders with the Minister of Defense or something like that, and it's totally against the values of uh, of my country and my army. And this uh, policy became a routine. Every week, every day, sometimes twice a day, um, helicopters and uh, fighters took off from Air Force bases and went to to send missiles and bombs to in order to target uh, suspects uh, in civilian areas at the beginning the they were targeting the car of the suspect when it was outside of the town and then it became 
closer to the town and then when he is inside the city and again I have um, no uh, I think that uh, those people who are organizing terror attacks are doing crime and uh, we must stop them and we have the right to stop them but there is a huge difference uh, between doing that to use machines that are used for attacking tanks and forces and, uh, and, uh, and combat uh, fighters to target one or two person that are staying somewhere in, the, in some city full of crowd. Gaza is the, one of the most crowded uh, area in the world. And, uh, of course, once you do it, you create damage and you kill innocent. And it was totally against the, the values that we were raised on, upon.